my work here is mainly focused on finding new mouse models for immunodeficiency. So for humans that have usually relatively severe infections because the immune system isn't able to cope with viruses and bacteria that most of us have no problem with. And over the last probably 20, 30 years, huge progress has been made in this area, but still it is not really clear what genes, what molecules are important for the cells of our immune system to really be developing in a way and be activated in a way that is provides an effective protection against infections. Our main experiment I'm running is that we take mice where we suspect that they have some defects in the immune system and immunize them with antigen similar to what is used in humans and then measure the response of these mice to the um, immunization. Then we look for those that don't have a normal response and try to investigate why they don't have it. If we find something there, we then try to relate that back to humans by looking if similar genetic defects also occur in humans that have diseases of the immune system. And the long-term aim of that is, of course, not only to understand why some humans have severe immunodeficiencies, but also to come up with new strategies to protect those um, with severe immune defects or to design vaccines that specifically activate cellular processes that are important for generating a good immune response and hopefully by doing that be able to develop vaccines against diseases where we can't do that at the moment. We've identified two new genes that were previously not known to be in any way important for the immune system and at the moment we're trying to really understand what these genes do and how they contribute to the normal function of the immune system and at the same time I'm now starting to um, work closely together with um, clinicians that look after patients with diseases caused by very similar genetic defects. So we're looking in those patients if they have a defect in this previously not known gene. And um, that is, I think, the plan for the next few years to really start more translating what I've built up here in the last five, six years.